Hey what's going on guys, in this video we are going to see how to calculate planar packing fraction for a given Miller indices. Here we have a Miller indices given that is 111 and we are going to calculate the planar packing, packing fraction for that one ok. Now before we do that let's go ahead and draw the diagram. Let's see how it's going to look like 111 plane ok. So this is our cube. and we want to draw 111. So whenever the Miller indices is given we have to take the reciprocal of that one in order to draw the plane and if you take reciprocal of this 111 all of them are going to be just 111. So we can put 1 in the x-axis. So let's say this is x-axis, this is y-axis, this is z-axis. So we have to put 1 in the x-axis. Let's draw, draw with a different color. 1 in the x-axis and one in the y axis and one in the z axis. If we connect to all of them, that's going to give us the given Miller indices diagram. Okay, so this is going to be the plane. Now we are interested in finding the planar packing fraction. Now let's look at the equation for the planar packing fraction. Planar packing fraction is given by area of atoms of plane area of atoms on plane atoms on plane divided by area of plane of plane okay now let's look at the atoms number of atoms we have and when we have a cubic structure and also I forgot to mention this is body centered cubic structure okay let's put BCC body centered cubic structure for a body centered cubic structure there are eight atoms around the corner all of them are one over eight of the atom but let's see what happens if we draw the plane so eight atoms and one at one big atom in the middle okay that's all we have to know about body centered cubic structure now if you take this triangle, that's what we are interested in. The given million indices is 111. This 111 is crossing these three atoms. Okay, there are three atoms it's contacting with. And one in the middle, but this is not entirely covering the middle one. If it's 110, it's true, like it, it will cover the middle one also. But for this one, it's not covering the middle one, so we don't have to worry about the middle one. And if you look at this part, we are only interested in the part inside of this. Okay, so each of this has 1 over 6. 1 over 6, 1 over 6. So atoms, number of atoms, atoms is going to be equal to 1 over 6 times 3. And that's going to give us half of the atom. So we have half of the atom. So area of the atoms, it's easy because area of the, this is only covering the circle. Since this is a plane, this is only covering the circle part, right? So this is phi r square. So area of the atom is not a problem. Now we have to calculate area of the plane. Area of the plane, we know that this is a triangle. This is a triangle. This plane is a triangle. And let's put higher height as h and the base as b. This is going to be, this also going to be B because this is a collateral triangle. So base is going to be equal everywhere. So we have the base height and for a triangle, we know that area can be calculated using half times base times height. Okay. First we have to know what is the basis. We have to derive everything in terms of radius. Now here you can see, this is, if we take the edge length of this one, edge length let's call A. And this is A, this is A, let's call this one B, this is the base, right? This is the base of the triangle. Since this is a 90 degree triangle, right? Here, you, this is a right angle triangle, because since this, this is a cube, this is going to be right angle. So we can calculate B by squaring both of them. B is going to be equal to A square plus A square, okay? And for a body centered cubic structure, A is equal to 4 over square root of 3 R. And if you want to know how did we derive this one, you can watch 
my videos on body centered cubic structure i have explained how did we derive this one okay so this is going to be 2 times a square so we can put 2 times 4 by 3 4 by root 3 whole square and r and that's going to give us 2 times 16 divided by 3 r square and that's going to give us 32 divided by 3 r square so this is going to be our base now we have to find out what is the height is now here you can see this one is b by 2 this distance and this is b this is the hypotenuse this is here so we can say b square is equal to h square plus b by 2 square by the Korean theorem okay h square plus b by 2 square now let's we are interested in finding h so we already found out what is b is b is this one so b square is going to be 32 divided by 3 r square minus b by 2 square so b by 2 is going to be 32 divided by 3 divided by 2 whole r square this is r square square and this is also going to be square so we are going to have 32 divided by 3 r square 32 divided by 6 r square square mm. I made a mistake right here 4 over root 3 uh, this is b square right b square is equal to a square plus a square because we are using Pythagorean theorem so this is going to be b square is equal to this one so this is all all of them are equal to b square so this is equal to b square okay so b is going to be equal to b is going to be equal to square root of 32 divided by 3 r so we are going to apply that one let's get rid of this okay let's redo this one again okay b square is b is given by this b square is given by 32 divided by 3 r square and h square is equal to like let's leave it as h b over 2 square b is this one divided by 2 square if we square this one this is going to be just plus 32 divided by 3 r square divided by 2 okay so we are going to have this one right here so th this is going to become 32 divided by 3 r square plus h square plus equal to h square plus 32 divided by 6 r square okay now the better way is we can have equal denominator in order to calculate this one easily so we have to multiply this one by 2 in the bottom and top so this is going to give us 64 divided by 6 r square minus 32 divided by 6 r square that's going to be equal to h square therefore 32 if you subtract that's going to give us 32 divided by 6 32 divided by 6 mean we are going to have 32 let's see I'm doing some so this sum should be 4 right when we square this one this is going to be 4 4 times 3 12 this is 12 okay so there are some mistake I have to multiply this one by 4 in order to get 12 so if we multiply 32 by 4 30 to th 3 times 4 12 so 4 128 divided by 6 128 divided by 12 yeah, let's get rid of this 128 divided by 12 and uh, if we subtract 32 divided by 12 we are going to get 96 divided by 12 96 divided by 12 mean 48 divided by 6 24 divided by 3 uh, that's going to be 8 so we are going to have 8 r square h is equal to 8 r uh, h square is equal to 8 r square so let's write this one directly okay and if you calculate this one you will get okay 
So if you calculate this one, you will get 8 r square is equal to h square. Therefore, h is going to be square root of 8 r. Okay, so this is our h. Now we have the height and the base. So we can calculate the area of this triangle. So area of the triangle is going to be half times half times base times the height base is equal to square root of 32 divided by 3 times r times the height is going to be square root of 8 r and uh, that's going to give us the area area and if you calculate this one you are going to get area is equal to 8 over root 3 r and r square okay that's going to be the area of this triangle now we have the area of the triangle so we can that's the area of the plane triangle is the plane right so area of the plane is calculated now we have to calculate area of atoms on on plane now let's get rid of all of these things we we can get rid of this one let's leave base okay oh we don't need this one because we calculated the area let's continue here so ppf we are interested in finding planar packing fraction ppf for 111 plane is equal to area of the atom sound plane we have half of the atom half times area of the half like one sixth of the circle like this is a circle right so half of the circle that's going to be half times phi r square phi r square divided by 8 over root 3 square 8 over root 3 r square and that's going to give us root 3 phi over 16 because r square r square cancels finally we will end up with this one and that's going to be the planar packing fraction for miller indices 111 plane and that's how we do this kind of problems so i hope this helps thanks for watching